went off to PG Addict Part 12. We're here at Warwick Castle, as you can see, and the plan today on this little visit is to pay like a normal customer, like I just have, but in my bag, obviously, I've got my camera to take photos while I'm here. But I might take a few thousand photos, and the idea is to make a model, make a 3D model of something from inside the castle, but then give it to the castle as a little present. And maybe we can have a meeting and talk about more immersive tech and how it can be used. Bag search first. Booked online. 22 quid. I haven't been here for a while, so a few things have changed. So there might be a few other things to scan, but I'm not sure what there's going to be yet. It looks like they're open to make money in different ways by having external food companies here. So what we're looking to do with these 3D models is they could monetize the actual assets they've got here. So looking for some places to scan. Obviously, if you were going to say to people, I can put you at Warwick Castle virtually, you'd want to scan all of this. But it's a little bit big for me to do <laughs> on my own. You could do it. Anyway, let's look for something smaller. If you were going to do it, you'd have to have lots of drones. Inside the main area, lots of food and drink stalls. And all this is obviously easier to scan, not so tall. When I asked Ross what would be good to scan, at the castle. He said to me, try the trebuchet. So we can go and have a look, but I don't think I can get close enough. There's a kid playing on it, surely I can get close. Might be a bit tall. Looks like we might be able to get quite close. There's quite a few people about, but Ross, I think this might be doable. The top is obviously gonna be a little bit hard can walk around most of this. Yeah, this could be perfect. Looking around the other side of the trebuchet. It's looking promising. Right to this side, all the way around. Just have to zoom in on the top of it. Ideally, you'd have a drone for the top, but we'll see what we can do. Definitely get some funny looks from people taking like 2,000 photos of the trebuchet. But basically, zoomed in on the top. It would be better to do the drone on the top. But obviously, I haven't got any permissions to fly here today. So we're just using a tourist camera. Yeah, we'll see what the model looks like. The woodwork will look quite detailed. I'm sure Ross would like to do more. Let's see what it looks like. Aligning now. Cool. You can see all the camera positions below. It's 99 million tries. I'm gonna unwrap it and then texture. Just one of the things you can do after you've got a model of this trebuchet, we could then have a QR code here so people can just scan it with their phone pop up the trebuchet that comes over the top of this one but that actually has um, all the working components you can see the people running around in it and then you can see it fire its fireball and land over there you could just have it working for people regardless of anyone being on it or activating it just have a full augmented reality version of it that fires fire and you'd watch it from the position you're sat at, so you can actually use this whole thing as a prop. I say it like that because I think it could be monetized. You can have, like, you would come to the castle, and if you upgraded to the immersive packs, immersive pass or whatever, 
then you get to go on all the different uh, VR experiences around the place. Captured that. I wonder as I'm walking back through, I'm going to see if there's anything else new or monumenty that we can scan. See if that see if that does the trick. I don't think we could photogrammetry a peacock. That looks perfect for scanning. Meet and greet with Zog. It's pretty near closing time here, so I'm walking out just seeing if there's anything else that looks easily scannable. Obviously that bridge would be doable, but I'd have to trespass onto this garden I think, so I think we'll leave that. I'm pretty sure there's something up here, up on the mound, I'm pretty sure there's something at the top, so let's go and have a look. Ice houses, 1830. Good to scan. A little bit COVID blocked off. Warwick Castle, it's done. So a bit of a conclusion to the video. The model that we've made of the trebuchet is gonna be cleaned up a bit. So I'm gonna give it to the castle as a free gift from us they can have the raw photos and the model um, and I'd just like to have a conversation just like to meet up, have a meeting, discuss the immersive ideas that I think have massive potential at Warwick Castle and yeah, look forward to speaking to you soon